welcome to your love reading. This is going to be uh, checking in on you and also your partner, where your partner is at with you and um, and then where you're at with your partner. Um, looking into the future, looking into the past, insight for that and in the present. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I'm doing your reading first because you guys were so patient with my last set of readings for September and I just adore you. So um, please like and subscribe if this resonates. All these cards have been pre-shuffled. We're gonna start with Oracle cards. All right, this is the love, the Romance Angels deck and uh, this is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. So just an overall vibe for the reading for my Aquarians. You deserve love. You are lovable. I notice that this card often comes up when literally there is kind of this doubt, you know? And oftentimes we shove that underneath. It's almost too literal, you know? It's like anybody's gonna be like, of course I deserve love, whatever, you know? But oftentimes when that Oracle card comes up, it's calling you to look at your history, your patterns, your actions, and to put in a question like, you know, subliminally, underneath the surface, is there a resistance? You know, is there um, a way that you might be pushing off love? Something to keep in mind. All right, now we're gonna get Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. This is a beautiful deck. This has already been shuffled. We'll do it one more time because it feels right. Faith. All right, we have faith here. I'm gonna read just a small excerpt. Nobody really wants to listen to like a whole bunch of reading. <laughs> but I find that these pictures are not as obvious as they seem. You may notice, you may, excuse me, reflect on times you have previously lacked faith and found precious gifts hidden within the obstacles. You may also notice how your faith was rewarded, even though you could not see it at the time. Hindsight can help unearth valuable lessons and show how the higher power is revealed to us because of life's challenges, not in spite of them. I'm gonna put these guys up here for you guys to contemplate. And we're gonna get into the tarot. So here's the Morgan Greer deck. Love this deck. All the names for the decks are in the description below. We're gonna get one card for you and one card for your partner and then we'll start clarifying from there. So for my Aquarians, my Aquarians, flipping in the deck is the independence card of the Nine of Pentacles. We're only taking cards that flip all the way out, so. But we take it as footnotes, Aquarians, thank you. All right. I can feel like I'm, I feel like I'm speaking so far to Aquarians who are actually in a place of doubt with their partner. They're starting to kind of consider what things would be like if they separated. Um, some of you guys have already made that leap and some of you guys are like preparing yourselves for that conversation while others of you are um, kind of rounding that corner and, and just contemplating, well, what would life be like single right now? Now, if this does not resonate with you guys, with, with any of you, move on. Don't try to make it fit. Um, for those of you who stay, we're going to move on to your partner. One card for Aquarian's partner. Thank you. So Ace of Swords represents information, ideas, epiphanies. Um, it's ruled by the air elements. I don't get too deep into the zodiac with the cards because eventually you just get all the astrological signs on the on deck, <laughs> all hands on deck. But this seems like with the Ace of Swords, we'll get a little clarity, but this would be like a message, fresh communication. I'm gonna get a card about the current situation. All right. A card representing your foundation with this individual. Anxiety with the nine of nine of swords in the future with this individual. Okay. All 
Wow. You know, <laughs> don't give up hope yet, my babies. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, so far, what we have is there's something in the immediate past, something in your foundation that created a stir of anxiety. I don't know if it was built around an anxious moment, if one of you guys or both of you guys came out of uh, relationships and you're kind of healing with each other. It feels as if you were. And um, I'd like to get a little bit more clarity on the Six of Cups. There's a sense of, although there's been adversity, and although there's been some challenges, there is a sense of belonging to one another, of knowing each other, you know, almost beyond this lifetime. And this, for a lot of you guys, you have known this person for quite a while. They know you, you know? The good news is like going into the future, if you're willing, there's actually a whole new kind of future for you guys that you would be recreating with each other. This would require you guys to both basically leave this harbor together. You guys would both need to restart a, on a new journey and it's gonna feel like anything's possible. Present situation with Aquarius and their end of a phase. All right, well, let's get a couple more cards on deck and then I'll, a little more about my Aquarians, this three of wands, a little bit more about my Aquarians, thank you. A little more about my Aquarians. Flipping in the deck, we've got nine of wands, defensive energy, the wounded warrior, a little tired. Wow, we got all the swords. Aquarius. What did I say? More and more swords. All right, we're just gonna put these guys over here. You're in your head, Aquarians. You're really in your head. You're not in your heart. There's some anxiety. There's some, there's, <laughs> there's a little with the King of Swords. It's a little brutal. It's a little brutal. I would say that you might be, um, you might be in a place where you're brutally honest. I uh, also driven to that brutal honesty by way of those swords, by way of, I'm just going to look at this. Yep. Second time you've gotten that flipping in the deck. More swords. So, yeah. You're really in your head and you haven't said everything on your chest. You haven't gotten everything off of your chest, but it's like you can't even have, like if you do say what you're gonna, you wanna say, it's gonna be a little brutal on this person, I think. A little bit more about my Aquarians. Yeah, you kind of running off of your instincts. You, there's a defensive energy here. And you're considering if I leave, I have what it takes to move forward. I can be confident in the world and I'll be fine. What about a Aquarian's lover? Okay, so I feel like, I feel like it's the, per, the other individual who's delivering a message and you're on the defense of that message. Um, you're considering possibly reluctantly moving forward and you feel that they have moved forward before you a little bit, you know, they're really interested in reciprocity and I think they see the potential of that balance, that give and take, but they are looking for excitement 
they're looking for balance and they are welcome they they'll they'd be able to welcome this independence in order to find it they're all about worth self-worth being recognized and um clarity on the centerpiece here I feel that somebody's being a little too careful here. One person wants to move forward and the other person does not want to be rushed. Uh, for a lot of you guys, that's your partner who wants to move forward and you don't want to be rushed. You don't want to be pushed faster or quicker. You're in your head about things and you don't want them to leave necessarily, but you also need to be true to yourself. Going forward, you guys can create, it's possible to create a new future together, to have a new vision, to have a vision that you guys both agree on, because I think we're getting this Nine of Swords in the background, in the foundation of the relationship, because frankly, you guys got together while knowing that you had different visions of what your ideal relationship would be. You know, like maybe one person wanted to live in this city and the other person knew that they did not want to live in that city for very much longer. Maybe one person wanted kids and another person didn't. But you guys went forward with that, with those conflicts and it's catching up to you guys. So what to do, right? Well, first of all, I feel that you guys, there's a lot of love there. You're very in your head. You're very in your head, Aquarians, but I can't blame you. Going forward though, you've got the Fool, you've got the Page of Cups, that's absolutely romance, that's absolutely magic, that's absolutely something brand new and fresh journey together. I'm gonna get another um, deck. And I'm gonna give it a shuffle because I just want something fresh for you guys. It's almost as if this person's giving you an ultimatum for some of you guys. Um, I was flipping it before I even asked. I'm gonna put this back in the in the deck because I need to ask my question. For or for the Fool and the Page of Cups, I want to know where the future lies with these. Now, keep in mind, you guys, you make your future. The cards don't, so you know, take it or leave it. Whatever resonates. The Fool and the Page of Cups, this Aquarius, and they're partner, clarity on the pool, and pick it up. Thank you. King of Pentacles. Great. Wonderful. The devil. That can be good too, you guys. Let's just see. There's my partner. Ooh. We've got the You know, this all looks really great, Aquarians. Um, I think that you guys, on this new, <laughs> on this new journey, you guys recreate a vision together. You can only do that if you address the foundation, which was addressing basically what the conflicts were in the relationship that you guys brushed over. And I think that a lot of you have already done a lot of that, but it's been in a defensive way. So what if it wasn't in a defensive way, but you address them and then from there, you can now recreate a future that makes both of you guys excited. One individual, one of you guys is going to be feeling really empowered possibly with their finances, um, with investments, and they might be a little more geared towards that. <clears throat> Another one of you, and that might be somebody who in the relationship is a little more earth earthbound, you know, like earthy, a little more analytical, a little more practical. Another individual is a little more spontaneous, fiery, fast moving. But you know, it's like 
addressing patterns about your own personalities that that both help you and hinder you specifically hinder with the devil thinking about it with the meditation card of the four of swords it's it's asking these cards are asking you guys to actually meditate and contemplate be real with yourselves about what's hindering you because only if you can recognize that can you break the patterns or you even have choice in the first place we don't have any freedoms we're like these little walking robots we don't have freedoms unless we recognize the patterns that we are we're operating from so this is an opportunity to recognize the patterns choose which ones you want to challenge in order to recreate this new future together and you end off with a hierophant card now if a lot of you guys are married you're going to stay married by doing this if a lot of you guys are not married you might just get married but let me tell you a little bit more about the hierophant not only does it rule over marriage and other institutions you know but bottom line it's a set of values and beliefs it's your commitments right so you then you guys recommit to each other you know with the help of the page of cups you have this new energy this new possibility just like that fish jumping out of a cup symbolizes anything is possible from this beautiful heart space the the cups represent emotions creativity passion and the passion is going to come back as well and you know why it's going to be because both of you guys feel seen truly seen and those parts of you that you feel that your partner doesn't want to see your partner is not only going to see it but they're going to love you for it and that makes all the difference i love how it goes back to the oracle cards which is faith and you deserve love it's like both of you guys both of you guys deserve love and there's so much love there but you guys are at this point of like do we stay together or do we break up over these disagreements these conflicts that are kind of deep in our foundation well the cards are suggesting that you really have the possibility to recreate this future if now i'm just kind of repeating myself but i like to do that and sometimes when people need it if you're willing to look at your partners the conflicts differently if you're willing to look at your partner's conflicts, um, the things that they want, the things that they don't want with fresh eyes and make them feel heard and listened to, you know, that's where transformation happens is when from the heart space, it feels you're not in the defense, but you're feeling like you're loved. You're feeling like you're accepted and you can be completely honest. And so where do you start, right? Well, show them this reading, <laughs> no. but also just start by doing it. For people have a funny way of following the leader, you know? And when you show that integrity and you open up that space for them, you're gonna remember how you felt in the beginning, the draw that you had towards each other. And that's the strength of that's gonna come roaring back because that's gotta be pretty strong when you consider some of the obvious conflicts that you guys had in the beginning, you know, um, different directions here. And not, neither of them are bad. Like not, the conflicts aren't bad. It's just that you wanted some different things. And those things were, you know, just kind of brushed over or things were just so good. It felt good when you guys got together. You didn't want to look at all that serious stuff. Well, you're going to feel good again. I'm wishing you luck, Aquarians. Have a great feeling about this. I'll see you guys soon. Love you.